Oh, what's going on guys? Hope you are all doing good. So today, I'm out on a boat, I'm out on a lake. We're gonna be doing some pike fishing and uh, yeah, hopefully catch a few fish. Now it looks super calm where I am. I've just come to like the calm area to film this intro. It's actually a pretty windy day. And uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be difficult. I brought the sonar with me today and the water temperature is like two and a half degrees. So it's not warm. It's not gonna be easy, but this morning, this first half of the day, I'm gonna be looking around, trying to figure out a pattern with the fish, basically. I'm gonna try to find out what depth they're at, what they're sat around, like, work out what sort of lures they're chasing and stuff like that, hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna try to show that in this video, what I do personally to try and find the fish. And uh, yeah, hopefully we catch a few. Got a couple of rods, got a bunch of lures, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to get some fish caught. It's been a slow January, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed we get a few today. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna start fishing, and hopefully, catch pretty easily. So, uh, that's the plan. Hopefully, we can stick to it. And uh, yeah, next shot, we're gonna be holding some nice fish. Fish. That's a fish. Trolling and casting at the same time. Boom, baby. <laughs> the crank bait. Oh. Yeah, I put the Johnny Bobbler on this rod because it floats and uh, obviously went on going slow around corners and stuff. I wanted something. That wouldn't sink basically and uh boom blow jack great and leave a touch it counts to the time nine minutes into fishing hey yeah yeah boy okay unhooked Johnny bobbler first fish of the day ain't a big one but it's the first one super fast that is awesome hands freezing already now let's get back see you baby <laughs> yes sir, got the rod father, which is what I'm trolling with, Johnny Bobbler, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it floats, so like when I'm going around corners and stuff, it's not just going to be digging into the floor like other baits basically, that's the only reason I put it on. <sighs> not sure I've ever even caught a fish on the Johnny, Johnny Bobbler before, I'm not sure I've just got a bit on this then, uh, but yeah, we got one. Good start. Small fish, but better than no fish. <laughs> Man, nine minutes in. As you can see here, hopefully you can see anyway, 2.5 degrees water temp. That is ridiculous look old. Like I'll tell you how that is. That ain't good <laughs> for fishing. As you can see we're only in three foot of water as well. Um, so yeah, the pike are feeling that. But Hey, we got a bite. That guy was fired up as well. Get this out behind the boat again. Not too far off, just so when we're moving, it ain't going too deep. We're only trolling at one mile an hour. So if we're not really focusing on the trolling, we're mainly casting. That's just like a bonus rod. Oh, it's super shallow right here. Literally 1.6 foot. We're not going to pick anything up here, I don't think. It's usually a good spot, but the water's a little low. Rocky bottom, not much vegetation. Um, the fish tend to sit here because water pumps in, and obviously, we've got a nice reed line and everything. But you can't see them with, with it being this shallow and this cold. Pre spawn, top spot, but a little cold right now, I think. Oh, one just hit it. Oh, I just watched that swirl on it then. Okay, they are fish here. We've got to hit straight on. And again, that's not a fish, is it? That's the bottom. That's got to be the bottom. Oh, it's off. Okay, that might have been a fish, right? We did definitely have a fish hit it. And then I <laughs> either just hooked 
a very big fish on the bottom. Um, no weed on it there. But the, the first hit was 100% of fish. Totally missed it, it's still pretty dark. Doesn't look like that fish is going to hit again, but... Yeah, two hits, but one fish, one hit. Not bad at all. We'll follow. Oop. Stick work for this reed line, then I might stick with this slightly smaller bait for the reed line. I'm not expecting better fish in here, so... Makes sense not to go too big on them. There we go. Oh yes. Oh, boat side, baby. That was so cool. Oh yes, man. Keep the motor on a low speed. Bring him around this side. Try to bring the boat away from the edge. But the wind's blowing right into the edge, so. Whew. Okay, time check. Nine minutes again. So one fish after nine minutes, nine minutes later. Number two, baby. Right in the reeds. Got him. Leader touch, slightly bigger than the last one. 2.6 degree water temperature. Sat in 2.5 foot of depth. Kofi perch. Hooked right in that bottom lip. Easier knocking, one treble. Pike. Number two, see you about 20 minutes fishing, two fish. I'll take him all day. Just spin this round, get us away from this edge. I followed it out from the reed lines. Oh, that was so good. So much fun when that happens. 18 centimeter, perfect all round size. I do like throwing the big stuff, but. And you're just trying to establish a pattern and see what fish are around. It's nice to put a medium sized bait on like this. Well, the plan is mainly today anyway to do open water drifts. I did want to fish this reed line to start the day, but open water drifts. I had a plan, try to get some better fish caught. Got big wind, so fishing the reed lines is just going to absolutely cane the batteries, unfortunately. Okay, finally moved into a little bit of deeper water. 5.8 foot, which is quite deep for this place. Just under two meters, probably two meters. Transducers a little underwater, so we probably are on two meters of water right here, which you see super clear bottom. Not a huge amount. So I don't know you guys can see, but it's, yeah, six, six foot clear bottom. So I'm not expecting too much here. But what I want to find is sort of this depth, but with a little bit of features, maybe some weed that's still there or some like ruts or something. So keep my eye on that sonar while we fish. Hopefully it'll, uh, yeah, show us the good stuff. Oh, swirl, one just swirled on my bait. <gasps> Why? I saw the dark shape following it. I wasn't too sure it was a pike at first, and then I saw it swirl, went for it, missed, and then just swam off. Damn that. Okay, it's another contact though. I was four contact today, which is good. Less than now, 40 minutes into fishing, four contacts. I'll take that. Interesting that it swirled. Like the same one, same happened with that second take down there. Swirled on it, missed it, and then just went. Like, very, very fast attack though, but. Man, maybe we're throwing a jerk bait for a little bit. Just with them, the way they're behaving, it looks like a jerk bait would get it. Like that was storming up. Uh, something a bit more aggressive might have got it to like strike again, maybe. Something just hit that, I think, as well, maybe. Unless it hit weed, but interesting. Around the vegetation though, we found fish. It's what we're trying to learn with the sonar, what the fish are sitting on. And the stunning vegetation. You can see a few marks of fish around it actually. And uh, yeah, just found one right out in the middle of the lake. It's, yeah, interesting. 2.5 degrees in the water. It's kind of aggressive. 
one eternity later. Oh man. So I believe it's half past one and I've had no fish since before eight o'clock. And as well, I might as well mention this big old battery ran out after an hour, like I said. This Rebel Sauce has been on um, five and a half hours now and it's 48% uh, battery still. So yeah, definitely worth the investment rather than just getting a cheap lead one. Obviously, if you get a bit more of an expensive lead one, it's gonna last a bit longer, but they are still not brilliant. Compared to lithium, lithium is top dog when it comes to dry metal batteries. Oh, might have just had a bump. Yeah, very, very gentle, but I've got a hit right on the head. Yeah. Yeah, head hit, right there. Boom, 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 four little cuts. Very, very gentle bite that then, so that's annoying. They are not feeding right now. They are not been feeding all day, but... Man, when you get bites like that where it just feels like... It's hard to explain what it feels like. It feels like someone's just whacked your lure rather than like a big pull. It's just like something's bumped into it. Um, that's what most of the bites have been like today. Really, really, really fast strikes. It's all a learning experience though, you know. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> that one hit properly. Damn it! Oh man, that was a good strike. Two casts after that last little bumpity bump. Boom, got whacked. Damn, I've got a good hook set on that, but no hook up. See, look, look, those, that's how you know you've got a proper strike. Showed you this bait a second ago, there was none of them cuts. Right on the head again, but. Pfft. I felt the weight of the fish, but I just didn't get pinned. Boat's moving towards it. It makes it a little bit more difficult to actually get them to stay. But that was a hit. That was two hits. <laughs> Foot slipped off the seat. Two hits in three casts. That's really good. I might actually do this drift again if we get some of the contact or something. Oh, that was one. <laughs> that was just weed. No. What the hell? No. Come back, come back. Where did that come from? What the hell, man? Jesus Christ. Those rips, that just came out of nowhere then. I honestly, holy crap. Those rips, that in. <laughs> pounced on it. Jesus, man. Well guys, I was hoping that I wasn't going to say this today, but brutal session again. Two pike in the first 20 minutes and then, yeah, just hard work. I had like 15 contacts, but they were just like nipping. They weren't taking it properly. Like, So yeah, I'm disappointed, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I thought I was going to do better after that start, but yeah, that's the way she goes. Um, you can see, it's just dead raining, super sunny. Uh, super windy, super cold. My hands actually swollen and bright red from the cold. So, yeah, not brilliant. <laughs> but the goal of this video was to show me searching for pike, what I do. So hopefully I can get that across in the video. And uh, yeah, obviously we found fish, but they weren't active. Like I say, about 15 contacts, only two landed. So yeah, I was gonna do it. Hey, you guys enjoyed anyway. Hopefully, now into February, we get some better action in my one and two fish videos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed anyway, and I'll catch you in the next one.